King George VI, the reluctant monarch who led through turbulent times. King George VI, born Albert Frederick Arthur George on December 14, 1895, was the unlikely British monarch who ascended to the throne during a tumultuous period in history. His reign, which spanned from 1936 to 1952, was marked by the challenges of a world at war and the complex demands of a changing monarchy. King George VI is perhaps best remembered for his steadfast leadership and the inspirational bond he forged with his subjects. George VI's early life was largely overshadowed by the looming presence of his older brother, Edward, who would later become King Edward VIII. However, the abdication crisis of 1936 thrust George onto the throne. When Edward VIII renounced the throne in order to marry the American divorcee Wallace Simpson, the burden of kingship fell to George VI. With the nation in shock, George ascended to the throne as the King of the United Kingdom and the dominions of the British Commonwealth. One of King George VI's most challenging tasks was to navigate the British monarchy through the turbulent waters of World War II. As Britain and the Commonwealth found themselves at war with Nazi Germany, the King and Queen Elizabeth, later known as the Queen Mother, undertook the difficult duty of representing the nation's resolve. George's steadfast presence and strong leadership during the war earned him the admiration and respect of his people. George VI's iconic speech on Christmas Day in 1939, in which he quoted from the poem, The Gate of the Year, resonated deeply with a nation facing the uncertainties of war. The speech provided solace and hope, reinforcing the monarchy's connection with the British people during their darkest hours. Despite the weight of his responsibilities, King George VI faced personal challenges. He struggled with a stammer throughout his life, a condition depicted in the 2010 film, The King's Speech. With the help of speech therapist Lion Logue, George worked to overcome his speech impediment, which had caused him great anxiety in public speaking. His dedication to conquering his stammer was not only a personal triumph, but also a testament to his determination to serve his country. The king's role in the war extended beyond symbolic gestures. He visited bombed areas, hospitals, and troops on the front lines, demonstrating his genuine concern for the welfare of his subjects. His willingness to share the hardships of the war indeed him to the British people, reinforcing the monarchy's relevance during a time of crisis. After the war, George VI faced the challenges of post-war reconstruction and the decline of the British Empire. His reign witnessed the transformation of the British Empire into the British Commonwealth, a community of nations linked by shared values and cooperation rather than colonial dominance. King George VI's health began to decline, and he struggled with a series of medical issues. In 1952, he passed away at the age of 56, leaving the throne to his daughter, Queen Elizabeth II. George VI's legacy is characterized by his unwavering commitment to his role as a constitutional monarch, his leadership during a pivotal moment in history, and his ability to connect with and inspire the British people. His reign marked a transition in the role of the British monarchy, as it evolved to meet the challenges of the 20th century. His enduring impact is reflected in the lasting respect and affection held for him by the people of the United Kingdom and the wider Commonwealth. King George VI's journey from a reluctant monarch to a beloved leader is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the extraordinary demands of duty and service. His story remains an integral part of the history of the British monarchy and the nation he served with dedication and integrity. The End Please subscribe my YouTube channel Teddy's Best Story Time. See you next time.